in 1013, I spent... 1013? That would have been a thousand years ago. Let's try that again. In 2013, I spent 10 days in the hospital after having a heart attack and quadruple bypass surgery. In this short video, I'm going to share with you exactly what you need to know in order to sleep comfortably after having open heart surgery so you can finally get some rest and start recovering from the surgery. All that and more, coming up. Hey guys, I'm Dean Snyder from Snyder Health. If you're new here, this channel is all about tips, advice, and conversations about health, nutrition, and lifestyle choices for people over the age of 40. Like me. So if you haven't done it yet, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. This video is the fourth video in my new heart attack recovery series. In the last video in this series, I talked about my entire 10 day stay at the hospital, including pre-op and post-surgery, after having a quadruple bypass. So if you haven't seen it yet, I'll post a link at the end of this video so you can go check it out. All right, let's get to it. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, having open heart bypass surgery hurts a lot. It takes almost a full year before you feel normal again. And for the first month or so, you're gonna wanna take a lot of naps and you're gonna wanna make sure to get lots of sleep at night to help your body heal. But understand, you're not gonna be able to sleep lying down like you normally do at least for a month or so. If you lie down flat, not only will it be extremely painful, but you'll also feel like you can't breathe, like you have a Toyota parked on your chest. So you're gonna need to be able to sleep upright, roughly at a 45 degree angle. And unless you have one of those beds that can incline, you're gonna need another solution, a nice recliner. If you don't have one already, get one. Buy one, rent one, borrow one. Just get a good plush recliner and stick it in your bedroom or your living room, wherever you're gonna be the most comfortable sleeping at night. You're also gonna need a lot of pillows. I suggest having at least six pillows, maybe more, depending on how fluffy they are. Now, let's go into my living room and I'll show you how to set yourself up so you can feel the most comfortable when you're sleeping at night. So, here we are in my living room. This is the same sectional that I had when I had the heart attack six years ago, and this is the same recliner. This piece right here reclines. So um, I'm gonna show you how I set myself up by propping myself up with a whole bunch of pillows. And my lovely wife, Lorette, who is off camera, is gonna help me by throwing some pillows at me. So the first thing I wanna do is, let's put this up first. And the first thing you wanna do is, here, go with those. Put a pillow on either side of the armrests Hopefully you guys can see this. All right, a couple of pillows. Well, you give me the big ones. No, nope, wrong one. <laughs> give me the big gray ones. All right, the big gray ones are gonna go back here. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you are literally compressed between all the pillows. All right, and you wanna put one under your feet. Hopefully you guys can see this. I'm going to throw a pillow my way. Thank you, dear. I'm going to put one under your feet like this. So you'll see that this begins to prop your arms up. And I'll show you why that's important in a minute. Uh, take another one. Why not? Is there any more? Give me one of those. You want to make sure that your arms are as high as possible. You want them, you want to get them up above the medial line of your chest and you want to try to get them internally rotated so that your arms are kind of like this, up and in. This way it takes the pressure off your sternum. All right, you want to, you want to make sure that you're obviously comfortable. This goes further down. Hopefully this doesn't look ridiculous. So again, as I mentioned before, I'm at, at a roughly 45 degree angle on my back. My legs are up, which is fine, and they're comfortable like this, and I have a pillow under my legs. And you wanna put as many pillows as you need to under your arms to keep your arms up above your chest. And again, is, if they start to drop below the median line, they're gonna to start to pull on your sternum, and you, uh, and that, that will cause pain. So 
You wanna make sure to keep your arms up in the air like this. Try to get as comfortable as you can. I don't know that I need any more pillows, but here comes another one. So, this is kinda how I had everything. I didn't wanna prop my head up too much. And there you go. So, this is how I slept and I was very comfortable like this. Although, it wasn't much fun getting in and out of it, especially when you're in pain. And as I mentioned in one of my other videos, it is always helpful to have somebody with you uh, while you're recovering. So hopefully a spouse, girlfriend, boyfriend, uh, a, even a friend, someone that can stay with you for that month because you're gonna need a lot of help, including getting in and out of this contraption. Uh, obviously this was very easy for me to do, but when you're in a lot of pain and it's very hard to move after the surgery, you're gonna need some help getting in and out of this. But this will be very, very comfortable uh, and you'll find that you could actually sleep all night like this, very comfortable. But again, just the most important thing is keeping your arms up, rotated internally, and above the medial line of your body. And this is my dog, Flicker. Flick, face the camera. The camera's over there, Flicky. Look. That's, oh, look, there he goes. That's my uh, Papillon, Flicker. He just wanted to get in on the YouTube action. So even if your dog is very small, like like a seven pound Papillon, like I have, don't let them step on your chest while you're laying in your couch recliner thing, bed. All right, so that's pretty much it. There's not much to this. I uh, just wanted to show you guys the best comfortable position. Again, it's always comfortable to be sort of contained within a flood of pillows, uh, as many as you, you need. So. Hopefully this short video will be helpful to you. And if it is, go ahead and hit the like button. Uh, in our next video, I'm gonna talk about uh, how to reduce the scar tissue from the surgery, the zipper that you normally get on your chest. You wanna reduce that as much as possible. So I'll show you how to do that in the next video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when the next video is released. Uh, thanks for visiting the channel and I hope to see you next time. And now the cat's visiting me. This is Neo, he's a Russian blue. This is not how you want to sleep. Not comfortable. By the way, I'm sorry the sound is not that great. The microphone is underneath the dog. The dog, this dog is humping the microphone. And if you need a blanket. <laughs> All right, I gotta go take a look at this.